All right, what do we have here? We have Dave Rubin saying that he's voting for Trump to protect freedom and capitalism. By the way, I'm, I'm streaming this on Twitch um, and then releasing it on the YouTube channel, an Atheist Republic's YouTube channel, if everything goes well. So if you want to see these live, uh, subscribe to the Atheist Republic on Twitch. If, if you're watching this on Atheist Republic YouTube channel, the link to the tw to Twitch is in the, in the description. Um, also, if it ends up being some, uh, a segment I really think went well, um, I'll go on Twitch and make it private after the streaming is over and make it uh, at least one of these every day. I'm going to make it a patron only uh, video. So patron exclusive. So if you want to get the videos that are patron only, uh, please uh, become a patron and su support this channel by becoming a patron. And, and link to that link to our patron is in the description as well. Um, if you're watching this on Atheist Republic. Anyways, let's continue. Let's see what Dave Rubin has to say. Well, where does it start? So what does the future look like in the in our remaining three minutes? Give me give me some hope. Or don't. You know, or it, it, I could tack on two hours. Yeah, I, uh, yeah we might need here. it for that question. Um, what does the future look like? Well, I always say that I'm a world-weary optimist. I'm an optimist mm. ultimately because I don't know how you could do what we do, meaning talk about the world and yeah. explore all this stuff if you didn't have some level of optimism because otherwise, well, first off, this would be depressing as hell all right. the time, but I don't know how I could wake up and do it. <laughs> right. but, but at the same time, so I describe it? myself as world weary because uh, as I think I said before, I'm, I'm a realist, I think. I mean, it's, everybody thinks they're a realist. First, you know, I don't, I see the world as it is, not no, as I want it to be. You know, like yeah. I want the world to be a certain way, but that doesn't mean it is, uh, you know what? Yeah. I don't understand sometimes saying things that are so obvious. Like, who doesn't that describe? Everyone, everybody that does any form of activism wants the world to be a, diff a way that it's not. Um, yeah. I, what happens is with a lot of these, the Marxists, the leftists, whatever they are, they just want the world to be a certain... Okay, Marxists, leftists, don't use those two interchangeably, please. So they demand that it be that way. Yeah. And they'll burn everything down in the process. I think... Here's what I generally burning that. Okay, this is a video about supporting Trump. So if you want to support Trump, and then you're talking about other people burning things down to get what they want, then I don't know who are you to say, speak. Theism. If we're if we're trying to get a roadmap to some sanity in the future, yeah. sanity through Trump. No, I think Trump has to win. What? Yeah, yeah. I, I think. <laughs> Okay. Imagine saying that unironically. Um, if we want to get more sanity, Trump has to win. Jesus Christ! Like, what the hell? I mean, like that's just a. You odd... think it, it really matters? Twenty twenty is. Yeah, you know, I've been thinking about this a lot. It's like you know, every election. Now, this is the most important election ever. It's never been more yes, important. Right. You know, our values were. Uh... This time, it's like, man, if he doesn't win, the sky, any... the sky will fall. Everything is every okay, yeah. He makes fun of the people that say that, and then he does this, the same thing of like, oh, people, every election, they're like, this is the most important election of our lifetime, blah blah blah. And then you, he, he says that because he's preparing you for something as stupid as he just described because he knows how stupid is that sounds. I mean, he should know anything that we remember about America, yeah. and I don't say this as some rah rah. Trump guy. Um, they're burning down the, the buildings. And they're, the they're here to ruin, to wreck the entire thing. Yeah. They, they're here. It's yeah. here. The shit. And maybe some of them, a fringe minority of them, but a majority of you are actually are successful at doing it. Okay? So yes, the fringe, far lefty people, if they had their way, they will burn this, you know, they're like no state, no police, burn the whole thing to the ground. Luckily, most of the left is not like that. And luckily, they're not very successful at getting their way when it comes to burning down all the institutions and the things that have made their country a better place. The people that have been successful at doing that is you guys, the Trump supporters. And a higher percentage of you guys are actually in support of somebody that is burning down the institutions that has made the United States a better place. Ship has arrived on the shore. 
Do we want to just sit there and watch as they burn our houses down? Or no, we'll no, we we won't sit there and watch them burn it down. We'll just do it ourselves faster. Or do we want to do something? This is also the irony of the people that I'm even more frustrated with. And, you know, the, the crazy leftists, I'm like not even frustrated by them anymore because it's, it's kind of funny. It is what it is. Yeah, sure. You're not, you're not frustrated by not, you, the person that can't even handle a slight amount of disagreement is not frustrated at all. Never, yeah. But I would say the never Trump conservatives, you know, this, this all three of them, this yeah. bulwark, <laughs> Bill Crystal, David from the bulwark. It's like oh, you guys God. just want to be. We look at this host. Great job challenging this person and his views. You just like. You, you want to just go ahead and jerk him off while he's talking? Liked by lefties. Yeah, they're funded you, by lefties. Yeah, so yeah you want to be liked by lefties. You didn't want to do anything or conserve anything, really. You want to go to nice parties. They so, want to conserve their paychecks and their... Yeah, that's what they want. Unlike you guys. <laughs> what is this? Conserve, the yeah, and I don't like to attack people's motives, but it's yeah. almost impossible. But them I'm willing the, to. The I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> he like he knows like oh, every reason why he's like he's his own bad argument. So he just acknowledges the the obvious problems with his arguments. Like you know, I, I I'm not going to guess what these people' motivations were. It's not a good idea to do that. Obviously, I can know what their motivations are, but watch me guess what their motivations are just right after, right before I. Those guys expire. What I would say is Trump has to win. Now, not that that will stop Jesus. this because it will then cause it to freak out. Trump is responsible for these woke, just like the woke people, Wokistani people, the woke cult is responsible for Trump. Trump is also responsible for the rise of these woke, woke cults. Okay. They, they complement each other. And I'm hoping that if Trump loses, this whole woke cult is going to lose some steam. Again, I'm not making any predictions i'm hoping that will be one of the byproducts out even more so i think we're in we're in for four more crazy years for sure yeah the only way we're in for four more crazy years that at least continue freedom and capitalism is through trump what i oh my god imagine somebody saying that we're going to be in four more crazy years if we don't have trump like how out of i think really is the is the pivotal year of all of this, because this can't go on forever. No, yeah. no movement goes on forever, right? Eventually it either spins out of control in a horrific way, or it, it perhaps winds down or something in the middle. Or, or uh, it, progress, um, it progress into something better. Oh, shit. I think... Oh. 2024. We're having a freeze. No, nobody. Two, three. Hold on, guys. Eight. Okay, guys. Just a reminder every time there's a freeze, just wait for five seconds and I'll come back. If you guys want to help me getting a new computer so I don't have these freezes, uh, we're really close to 100 patrons. I'm going to be able to get a new uh, computer once we hit 100 patrons. Right now we're at, what are we? We're very close. We're at 94. So please support me to be able to do these videos easily without these freeze in between by becoming a patron. We're only six patrons away to reaching 100. So link in, to, link in the description. Thank you. Uh, like link in the description if you're watching this on Atheist Republic YouTube, on Twitch, uh, no, not really. Years of Trump, people will be exhausted by it, but will have survived the intersectional collectivist lunacy. Yeah. And then you know what happens? You're going to get a crop of Republicans like Dan Crenshaw and Tim Scott and maybe Candace Owens. Yeah. Uh, yes, she will be maybe, old enough. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe Ben Shapiro, maybe oh, Michael God. Bowles. Please, no. Uh, Please, no. Daily, you'll get a, it does not, maybe not even for president, yeah. but like you will get a crop. No, of, I only want the top job. I only want, but I'm sorry. <laughs> you will get a crop. Is that funny? Truly intellect, intellectually diverse. Yeah. People who care, know about. Okay. One. You know, I like that. Two. No, no, I, I really have to replay this yeah. part because um, it's important. But, but no, I mean, I am voting for Trump. I, yeah. Sorry, we froze again. We're uh, back now. Yeah. But I have to play this 
last part because it was so moronic. Hold on. Daily, you'll get a, it does, not, maybe not even for president, yeah. but like you will get a crop. No, I only of, want the top job. Yeah. Yeah. I only want. But I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. You will get a crop. Cringe. Of truly intellect, intellectually diverse. Intellectually diverse, really, really. Like this is their definition of intellectually diverse. Yeah. Just People wanted to make sure I get that. Know about America, like Trump. Again, I don't have Trump derangement syndrome. I'm most yeah. likely voting for Trump. I'm, you know, I like. I don't. I actually see why would you no not? way I around. Mean, yeah, it of course. Point. Yeah. Of um, course. What a what a great host, right? Really, just just confirming everything you're saying and congrats. Like you might as well just not be there. Like what? Just get out of here. Just like what? You're just jerking him off. That you're not doing nothing else. But, but. No, I mean, I am voting for Trump. I, yeah. I can't see. I just literally can't right. see a way around it. You know, yeah. it's just it just is what it is. Yeah. Um, and now I'll be canceled by the time I watch. I know I that's I that's over. Minutes. You're not gonna get canceled over that. Come on, don't exaggerate the problem. You don't exaggerate the problem. You're 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 saying these things because this is gets you. This is giving you a bigger voice because you are looking at where the wind is blowing and you're just following it. This is giving you the audience that you want and you know it. This is not gonna get you can. Look where Trump. Who's getting canceled over saying they're a Trump supporter? Come on, I criticize the woke cult. I criticize the cancel culture. It's not as bad as you. Show me somebody that lost their YouTube channel. Simply for or their Patreon account or something, simply for saying, "Oh yeah, I'm a Trump supporter." You're gonna get canceled. Canceled out of where? The, says the man that has his his he has such a huge audience because he's the Trump supporter. David David saying in live chat, "Bro, you need a new computer ASAP." Yes. Well, are you a patron? You can help me by becoming an Atheist Republic patron. And you know, it's just six away, six patrons away, and I'll get a new computer once I get a hundred patrons. So, yes, I agree with you, Dave. So, if if you're not a patron, consider becoming one. That, that was a mistake. I knew these fifteen should have gotten the cost me. Um... All right, that was that was amazing. Uh, by the way, thank you guys again. Uh, I'm live streaming these on Twitch. If you're not on Atheist Republic Twitch, uh, go subscribe. To Atheist Republic on Twitch, and also uh, if you're a Patreon, I have um, I may I try to make you know as many videos that are only for patrons, um, patron exclusive videos, uh, which you will get you know it, it will get sent to you on Patreon once in a while, right? Um, I'll, I'm trying to make at least one video for patrons only. Anyways, I'm gonna end this here.